call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order uh, on this uh, 28th day of uh, June 2022 at 5 p.m. I'm sorry I got distracted by a feedback through one of our sound systems. I want to ask Jim Duke to lead us in a prayer and place a flag. Father in heaven, we're thankful for the opportunity and the freedoms we have in this country to gather and We'd ask that you give us the ability to, to make good decisions and to lead our community in the way that, that you would want us to go. We'd ask that you be with all those that, that are sick or have lost loved ones. We'd ask that you be with the family of, of Jeff and Jonathan James, two community servants that have spent a lot of their life helping the people of, of Ohio County. And th those two folks, please be with them and, and guide them in heaven. And, and put your arms around them and keep their family and, and, and keep them strong. Please go with us now as we, we have this meeting. Help us that we may do the things the way that you would want them done in your life. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you have the uh, minutes of the June 14th meeting, make a motion to approve. Motion to Sam Small, second by Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion, correction, or addition? I'll do. I'll make a motion. And, and also the uh, also the June, uh, the special call meeting. You just want to go first and second, like we did. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, first by Sam, second by Jason. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Holds like sign. Motion carries. You have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers before you. Any late minutes, ma'am? No. Nope. Okay, so moved. Motion for Sam Small. Okay. Second for Jason Bullock to approve the uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers. I got a question. We have further discussion. Okay. And on page three. OC to operate an expense. Gatekeeper service, $741. What is that? That's uh, the monthly service for the website. Okay. And then the gold That's how the website is listed. Golden. Golden Shovel. Is that well, how it's listed? I think that's the name of the company that oversees it. Uh, that will be up soon. We'll be reevaluating that. We'll look at that contract next year. How long it goes? I'm distracted. Miranda's not here tonight. She's quarantined. Uh, but she's right here. So uh, you can see her. I held her up. <laughs> she said, hello, everybody. Okay. Are you ready to vote? Yes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed uh -huh. like sign. Bills, claims, payments, and transfers are approved. Um, we opened a count and thought that uh, the hospital funds was going to run through our bank account. They did not. So there's no need to keep that bank account open. So we need to go ahead and close that. So move to close. Motion by Larry Cannon. Second. Second by Larry Morphew to close the bank account for the Public Facilities Corporation. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. <coughs> it passes. Uh, Justin, uh, I've given this uh, uh, maintenance ordinance first reading to uh, to Larry, and he we're I think ready to do the. Yeah, that's the, just that's just what Charlie given to me. The uh, we went ahead and made the changes you requested, Charlie, on that uh, maintenance. Yeah, uh, always want to wait till next four Yeah, I went ahead and got it done, so I went ahead okay. and gave it to him. So, do you want to act on it tonight or? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not back on it tonight. What it is, it's a five-year plan that we have to do. Okay. Every, year, every five years we have to update our plan. We do it. Let's get a motion a second, and then he can explain. Okay, so can we get a copy? I'll make a motion. motion. Second by Jason Bullock. To, to approve the uh, ordinance. 20, to make sure, Charlie, 20 oh, days five. All you were doing was the amendment. You were only just doing the amendment. Okay. Yes, okay, only the amendment. The one we amended. Tell me that number again. 2020 22 7. 20. I will refer to the last one that we amended it. Okay. Good enough. Okay, then we need a, a different ordinance number. 2022 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 7. Yeah, the ordinance number is just the ordinance number should be what what the original one was. That's it was correct. In 2000, I think 2020-5. This is only an amendment, amendment to it. Okay. 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 Just use the, that number. Then you want to make a motion, there? I like to read it. <coughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a motion second on the floor for it. Oh, yeah. what, what, what is, is, what is it? It's just more penalties. If you don't clean up your yard, it's a penalty that gives us the right. To penalize you a day because we give everybody a 14 day notice but what it does now is is this kind of up to the court there's no teeth in it this will give us a little bit more teeth if larry counts places garbage and then i give him 14 days and not that it gives we can start billing by day after so that when did we did change it, it from you passed it uh 2020 i think ago, it was did you did anything get changed to the way take of the household meeting, garbage? So we can go over this I don't care. Just penalty. You just want to, do you want to, do you want to? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try I'd like to go over it. I don't want to vote on something that I ain't it's seen. That's, yeah, I'd be, like to see it too, but has it changed any of the wording? No. The no. only thing it did, uh, the request that was made was it just added specific per day time. Per days. And uh, grace period that Charlie may give if he sees that they're taking it. Working at it. Uh, well, I'm good with it. If we want to go ahead, I mean, no, if I want to stay I'd like to take it home and read it before. But I want to make sure that. Hey, I'll go get you a copy of it. it. Well, I'll, I'll withdraw my motion. Okay. Okay. Second. I second. Motion, second, withdraw me. Okay. <coughs> uh, here, Larry, keep that with you. It's not too. Not too there you go, Larry. Let me get it. I'll go make copies for everybody. Thanks, Ellie. Uh, okay. Next, we have uh, approved the. Uh, 2022-23 wage compensation schedule, which I think all of you got one, and I believe it just reflects the uh, 7% increase. Motion to approve. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed uh, like sign. Uh, motion closes. Motion passes. Motion passes. Uh, I'm reading ahead here. Uh, I want to recognize uh, Jennifer Doherty. She's our animal control officer. She's going to tell us of a bill that she wants to do. This is Heather Smith. She's well, both of you come on down to the line. It's only you. Thank you. This is Heather Smith. She's opening a new rescue. It's called Fearless Brains Animal Rescue. She's been working great with us just from her home. So I'm proposing that we let her use the, the old animal shelter as her new facility. Um, I think we had talked like a dollar a year. For, she pays the lights. Yeah. In one year, for one year, then we'll see how it goes. And you're expecting this to take a little bit of the load off of Yes. Uh, yeah, she's already helping out a lot with just what little sh space she's got at her house. Yeah. In the last little bit, you've taken seven puppies and seven pu puppies, eleven kittens, four adult dogs. I think so. so From the shelter. <coughs> yes. The motion would say to uh, we'll we'll get to get rid of that, but to, to uh, uh, let uh, get her name here in the motion to use the uh, old animal shelter for one year for one dollar and she pay all of the uh, uh, utilities. utilities. And that. Let me make a motion then. Well, motion Justin, I guess, the, the, I'll second for discussion. I guess, Justin, that's that's all okay, legalities as far as doing that? That sounded like it. 
And so this is for, is she already set up as a nonprofit? And yes, she's already, already have all my paperwork. Okay. I just need a liability wise if something happens, somebody got hurt or something on our Well, we, was we'll release. be in the fixed agreement, but I, I didn't sign anything to you guys passed it. Okay. We, we, can, we can prepare a written agreement between everyone, if, okay. if the court so wishes. Okay. So it's a year at a time then? Yes. All fair to you. I wish you the best. Hold on, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, your name, ma'am, again? Heather yes. Smith. Heather Smith. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we're ready to open some beds. Uh, how you guys want to do this? They're laying here. And we get need them. to take this and go by category and separate them by category and then open them. My separate of a category given each master to so how do we know what's on the bottom? This is the asphalt. Okay. You got a category? List of category? Yeah, yeah. parcel stone, our contract call and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is asphalt. Number nine. Mm -hmm. This is number nine. Have we, uh, have we done any contracts all in the place? Yes. Trash. 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 Be it's number nine. It's under concrete. Nine. 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 So they don't need to. Nine. 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 Nine
break down why the reason. Yeah. Jimmy, I don't have a copy of it, but what kind of increase would it do? It was more than we've ever done before, Larry. Uh, 174. Yeah, here it is. It's on the fourth page. The annual bid subsidy of $174,996. Payable on 12 equally monthly payments of $14,583. That's, that's, that's about a $40,000 raise, Larry. It's a one seventy four nine hundred ninety six thousand dollars. So what was the reasons for that? No, it's right on fuel. My, my, and fuel and labor. Uh, Judge, everything went up tremendously. We spent sixty thousand dollars roughly in fuel last year. We anticipate that to go into ninety to a hundred this year. Uh, labor has just gotten terrible. And what we were paying a paramedic three years ago. We have to pay an EMT that did now to even get them to consider coming to work. Um, you know, it's just inflationary costs. You know, we always talk every year about just a cost of living raise. And honestly, that's a cost of living raise for us. That's just what it seems like it's going to cost this next year to keep afloat. Yeah, he's got a breakdown on the first page. I'll tell you, on fuel, it was last year was $60,616.87. Since this year, projected is $94,000. So that, that's a $34,000 increase right there. Um, medical supplies, $72,964.93 was last year. This year's $84,000, so you're looking at about uh, 11000 just a little over eleven. dollars Payroll was $805,980.73. Uh, projected for 2022 is eighty four. Eight eight hundred and forty thousand dollars. I'm sorry. So that's about thirty five thousand. Now here's the breakdown. If you guys want to see it. <coughs> Currently, the only increase we're seeing on our reimbursement, Medicare is talking about a small increase that may. I think we're projecting about seventeen thousand dollars for Medicare. Um, everybody's feeling the heat on this. Um, Simpson County went to bid this year. They're about the size of Ohio County. They said so we just got to look elsewhere. They're running their own service. Their low bid was nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars to run their service. They rejected it, and they're spending in excess of six hundred thousand. Actually, they're spending in excess of seven hundred thousand to run the service. They had bid openings in Evanston County the other day, and a fellow told them there that they they projected that diesel could go as high as eight dollars a gallon, which has got us really worried. Uh, but, it's like I put in that cover letter, guys. We're going to always run you a good ambulance service as long as we can afford to. I hate to have this much of an increase in one year, uh, but gosh, it just we're dealing with so many increases. Yeah. Uh, we all have. And we run on a, I, on, I, I, I guarantee y'all, we run on a real thin margin with Ohio County. We don't try to make a lot of money, but because we're running on a thin margin, if things shoot up, that means we can very quickly get in the black. I'll make a motion we accept the common carrier bid for Hamilton Third. Second to uh, motion to Sam Small, second to Larry Camp. Is there any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Thank you, Larry. Is this, which one is this one here? That'll be your stone and contract card. Yeah, let me have that stone. I got a <coughs> big thing. Are we ready for what? Contract call and stones. That's the only one we got? That's Y'all want to do that first, Jason? Yeah, go ahead. Right. Contract stone? Yeah. Yes, I mean, one. contract call. And it's the only bid we got of those. And who's got it? The, that, there it is. This is the, that year that we got it. This is the, yep. the hall? That bottle it's hall both. It's got both of them in there. Both, both of them are in there. That we, uh, did, did we, that we, uh, 
eliminate the contract call because we haven't for years and years and years. And we got enough trucks out there now that we've lost. It's sufficient, I would think. So if I, if I get a second, we can delete it. Second. That. Motion by Larry. So we're just going to install it. Second by Larry Morphew was to uh, delete the uh, item on uh, contract call and not accept any bid. No, we're looking at stone. say this they're not showing any warranty discount no uh, there's not been any uh, warranty discount as far as uh, the county buying uh, as much as they do uh, so I'm, I'm really I know last year this past year the year they're in we're in now they uh, and we had a contract with them had a stone bid with them and they raised the price on them they are charging someone else more than this. Though. Are, are charging what? Scott is more than that. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't like the way it come down the pike last year at all. And I, that's the reason we have the bidding process is because we bid it in. Your obligation is to stick to the bid. And they haven't done it or didn't do it this time. So uh, you guys do what you want to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to order the bid. Well, if we don't accept the bid, then where are we at in that situation? Well, we just buy it. It's like all we do. We buy it from them or? or what do they charge us then? Or where else is it? It's the same price. There's no discount whatsoever. That's what one is trying to make. Because they're not going to, they don't, and, that, that fluctuates anyway. And even if we do take it, uh, they're still at liberty like they did last year to raise prices. Now, I think if we, if we, if we, if we, if we do this with them this year, then I think we're going to have to put them to a contract and, and uh, make them sign and, and have some penalties with respect to any increase. But I'm not saying that the court needs to do it. I'm but just if saying we do we, pass this, though, at least we we have something to. What's the benefit, though, Jason? Uh, if well, they could probably. I guess they could raise it whatever they want to be. Is what you're saying. So. Whatever you feel. Y'all say we get it. We don't get the same way. Well, I mean that gives us an option. We got trucks. We can haul some other places if we want to. And I'm and I'm not I'm not against it. Yeah, like I'm not against the crusher whatsoever. But but I, I certainly didn't like the way that they uh, treated the court last time. We went through the process and they agreed to it, but didn't hold up the very end of the bargain. Uh, well, could we could we could we table that then? and allow them to come to the next meeting and talk yeah. to them about that? I don't think it's going to make any difference. But unless, like you say, unless we do a contract with them, like Justin said, unless we do some kind of contract with yeah, them. Yeah, but we probably wouldn't sign it if we put all that in there. Uh, if we can find somebody to talk to, we'll call them and talk to them. There's nobody here locally anymore. They don't have a local office. You guys want to go ahead? I'm just going to go for it. Well, we can table it. I mean, it's it's up to the rest of the court members. Well, for it we'll it died for lack of a motion, so we did not accept the bid. Okay. okay, what we got next? How about uh, number five, primer, stack, and RS2 oils? And, and you have three bids on that, too? Two. Let's push Penny on down to Larry Moore, a few dollars, and then read. Larry, right, it's your turn. Oh, we so we did only have one from Stone, or two from Stone, or pushing it to the side. 
One from the stone. Yeah. We did not read it. Either. I'm putting it in this blue notebook in the back pages so that they can be found when needed. Mark them off, that's what they That was, you hear that, Miranda? I did, thank you. What's her, okay, you go, open them and read them, Larry. Larry, Cameron, what do you propose we do? Just not accept anything? Well, I don't see the benefit. I don't either, but uh, I, that's what I was just wondering. Just act like we didn't get it or notify yeah. that we opened it. It allows us if we want to, we can, uh, they have other pressures. Uh, of course, transportation costs the way it is, the fuel cost. I mean, they pretty much got a monopoly on it. I understand that. Next, next, next meeting, you can either decide to accept it, reject it, or okay. seek new bids if you wanted to. You don't have to. Dirt yeah. roads were nice to walk on when you're barefooted. I'll check it. If we go back to dirt roads, I said they was nice to walk on when you're barefooted. Is that the oil there? Yeah. Now, somebody bring me up to date on the oil, too, didn't Is there a stipulation in this in this year? And I want to read that when Larry gets finished with is there a stipulation in it where they can raise it at their will, just as the crusher did? I, I, re, I would recommend to the court that if, that there, if there's any concern, we, we put a contract, we indicate that they be subject to the execution of a contract, your acceptance. Okay. And the yeah. contract would be pretty simple in a sense. The bid is as, as written, and it'd be required to be honored hey, as bid. Have hey, you got them, Larry? Yeah, this is from uh, Marathon. Petroleum RS2 is three, $3.11 a gallon. SS1H, $3.16 a gallon. AE-200 mixed and delivered, $3.95 a gallon. All materials shall meet Kentucky Department of Transportation specifications. Delivery prices are for 5,000 gallon minimum loads and includes freight. There will be no extra charge to the county for delays, trader rental, or product returned and with in 48 hours of delivery due to weather or county equipment breakdown. Okay, and what's the other one say? And could you, how much trouble would it be for you to find out what the oil was bid in last year and what, what we're currently paying for oil now and to see what kind of uh, increase they did? Yeah, I'll keep a list of it. Uh, <coughs> this one is from Asphalt Materials. Primer oil delivered countywide 273. 38 per gallon. Now what 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 oil product is that? Uh, like Primer oil. Primer oil. oil. Okay. Yeah. And then RS2 288 38 per gallon. High float RS tool 273 38 per gallon. Well, so that one's last year? Yes. It sounds, yeah. Who, who are we currently with, you guys? Marathon. 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 Okay. Here's your, uh, I don't know what they were talking about. Two, three, 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 three. So this is for oh, number 13. We don't even have anything. Cold patch. Cold patch. Yeah, those are cheaper on all of them, the well, asphalt material. Just go ahead and make that motion and we'll... I'd rather, I know, uh, I know they're well satisfied with uh, Marathon, what they do, but can we just, uh, Justin, can we just accept both bids or something like that? We can accept both bids so long as what we said in the, in the advertisement was, is the court would accept 
the bid so long as the one that is hired would be willing to uh, accept the same terms as the Low as the lowest bidder. I think that's right. We need to go. Okay. Can you uh, let that motion reflect that just judge? Yes. Yeah. I'm uh, a, or Larry. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Motion by Larry Morphew to accept uh, both bids. That's accepted here. Both bids, providing the high bid, will deliver at the low bid price. Yeah. Motion by Larry Morphew. Believe second by Larry King. Yeah. Second by Larry King. That's number five, right? Uh, let me see. Number ten. Yes, it is. It's number ten on the agenda. Yeah. Number ten on the agenda. Number five. Primer attack and RS2 goal. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed uh -huh. like sign. Motion carried. What do you have ready for us? Like, next, I'm just going to read it. We only got one. It's for asphalt. It's from Scotty's Contracting. Blacktop picked up at Vendor's Yard, $80.45. Blacktop delivered, placed, compacted various county roads in all parts of the county, but $98.95. I need to know what we're currently paying for. It's, the, it's that top one, where it says 2121. I thought they had, I thought they had, because my understanding, they raised it on us. Have we gotten any yet this year? Well, we, yeah, we, I think we used the same one for uh, uh, Pot of Avenger. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we've gotten the invoice yet. Probably not. I don't know. Uh, would Nick know? I don't. I don't think that we have got an invoice. <clears throat> I know we've had to, we've had to order all because this should have should have been there. So. What was our bid last year on the 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 asphalt laid? Was it eighty? Right, right now you're eighty eighty six. Eighty six right now. Eighty eight. You say 88 cents? It's 86 is what it is. So, Blacktop from Scotty's uh, delivered place laid $98.95 per ton. That's the motion? <coughs> yes. Motion by Sam Small to accept the Scotty's bid. Second. Top, second by Larry Morphy. Uh Any further discussion? No. What's this guy's name? We only want correct. Yes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying, what's carries? If all if, if asphalt takes it, if it takes a dip, you know, which I, I don't look for it. I'm open as much as you are, guys. Yeah, I know. Me, that, that, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that price hurts me. Yeah, I'm, it kind of hurts. I just I could not stomach a three-digit asphalt price. We've never seen it before. Yeah. Uh, but no. we bid last year the KAPI, the Kentucky Asphalt Price Index. Was 483.33. This month it marked to 740, which is the highest I've ever seen it. It got to the high 600s in late 2008. I've never seen it at 700. It went to 704 in May, went to 740 in June. Uh, Chris, does, uh, mm -hmm. did uh, Blacktop go up within the year? It's, uh, it's indexed. We've what, always indexed the asphalt price. With um, what, per, what percentage, do you know? The oil has shot, like I said, the oil has shot from 483 to 740. Yeah, I'm double. So you're looking, I mean, that's okay. about 40%, something like that. Yeah. So uh, what, at least you guys is up front with the index, and I appreciate that. Uh, well, the, uh, the reason we index it is it's all of your state highway projects, stuff like that, most of your, your county roads, city streets, all of that is bid under the index. Yeah. And what that does is, obviously, if, if I have to buffer for an expected increase, you're gonna pay for it on the front end. Yeah. So by being able to index it, you don't pay for it unless you have to, and then you ride it down the same way you ride it up. Hopefully yeah. this old plateau starts about down the other direction, yeah. and that, that's just gonna benefit you. If we index it and it drops, I mean, immediately drops, then your price, your in-place price, the pickup it price, all of it comes down with it. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we give and take, because the oil is something that's out of our control, same as it is yours, so. The increases in labor and trucking has really hurt us oh, in imagine. the last year, as, as like it has everybody else, but that's, that's the part of the bid that I can control and I can eat for the fiscal year. The oil is something that neither one of us controls, so you all need to benefit. If you can benefit from it, you need to benefit from it the yeah. same as if it hurts us, it hurts us both, you know. Yeah. I know you have no way of knowing, and Jimmy Duke was talking about earlier, 
I've heard trucking companies talking about the yeah, diesel fuel may go may go to eight dollars. This is all And of course, it's all hearsay. I've heard some of the guys think that one or two guys in conversation have said they think one road could possibly go to eight is what they're looking at. Yeah. I'm I'm hearing that the the asphalt index. A lot of guys are speculating that it's going to go to eight hundred. Uh, I'm hoping it plateaus if it ever makes it up that high. I'm hoping it plateaus here in the fall. Oh, don't we all? You know, don't we all. It, it's a commodity. It's traded just like corn and beans and gold and silver. So. Okay, thanks. Okay. What do we have next? Uh, still pipe, which is on your agenda, is nine. It's still pipe and pipe bands. Do we have multiple bids? We have one bid. Only one? One bid. Okay. Who's <coughs> in front? You say number nine? Yeah, never on your agenda. All it right, looks like the name bids. company is <coughs> Corrugated Steel. No, we got two bids. We got two bids. Yeah. Where did they put the name? Did he say that? There should be one for classified too. Yeah, con con contact contact contact. I can't read. And there's another steel engineered line. solutions. Contact engineer solutions. Um, steel pipe, correct? Yeah. Do you want me to bring it up? Because this is, this is plastic pipe here. Okay. Which, yeah. it's, it, where is that though? Is that okay, so we only have one steel pipe then. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, plastic's on down. Okay. So no. yeah. I'll go ahead and read it to you. But um, these are all 16 gauge, it looks like. 12 inches, uh, linear feet is 1725. 15 inches is 2160. 18 inches uh, for a 16 gauge is 25.92. 24 inch for a 14 gauge is 40.35. 30 inch for a 14 gauge is 51.84. 36 inch. 12. Uh, is that gauge or is that feet? Am I reading that right? Or no, that's that? per foot. Yeah. A 36 inch uh, 12 gauge is. Yeah, this is, I can't read that. The bigger the bike, the thicker the gauge. Yeah, 3460, is that 30? Read that 3480. 8467. 8467. Uh, 42 inch, 12 gauge is 9850. <coughs> 48 inch, 12 gauge is $111.28. Uh, 54 inch, 12 gauge is 127.31. 60 inch 12 gauge is $138.67 and a 72 inch 12 gauge is $189.41. Okay, you move to accept that? I move to accept the uh, motion, motion by Jason. Uh, Jason Bullock to accept the contact bid for steel pipe. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Blake Ham. Is there any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. All right, guys, well, we only got one bid for plastic pipe. It's from uh, Ohio County Farm and Garden. Uh, read them off. I'll start at 15 because that's as low as we go. 15 is $15 a foot. 18 is 18 inch is $21.50. 24 inch is $36.50. 30 inch is $50.50. 36 inch is 62.50. 42 inch is 83 dollars. 48 inch is 106.50, and 60 inch is 172. And so that's the only bit we got for plastic pipe. And I make a motion we accept. I'll second. Motion. Motion, motion by Jim. <coughs> I'll second by Jason Bullock. Accept the Ohio side. County Farm and Gardens. Bid for plastic pipe. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So we have a, a sealed bid here yeah. for item number 13 that ain't on this list, but equipment, vehicle, lease rental. You want me to that? Southern state. Southern state. And it's for. Uh, it's for coal mix, coal patch. This one we're getting ready to read now is uh, for uh, coal patch, but there's not, it's not on the uh, bit list, it's on our. No, we can go ahead and do that. Okay. 
we don't use very much of that. Easy Street Asphalt Company. Easy. Is that right? Easy Street Asphalt Company. Uh, it's for um, cold mix bid. So if it wasn't in the advertisement? So we have to, I mean, if it wasn't no, advertised. Today it wasn't, so I guess we will get some books up to the When we keep it for. We'll keep it. Let's keep it put in here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the park. Uh, last one, I believe, is trash. Price per container, $117.08. It's for public services. For public services. <laughs> uh, monthly price for requested service, $936.64. And annual price for requested service is $11,239.68. Price per yard is $3.38. Uh, it says trash service per container is $117.08. So, so if we get a, a bin brought out, it's automatically $117.08. No, we're talking about the dumpster. Yeah, and then you pay by the, the ton after that. The way the bid was written, it requested to wanted to know the monthly service rate and then it wanted to know like an estimated um, uh, rate for the container to be serviced and then it wanted to know an estimate on uh, the annual rate and of course um, three dollars and 38 cents per yard uh, if the department calls uh, like say for example the parks needed to increase uh, into an extra pickup day uh, during the week then you would use that three dollars and 38 cents uh, the formula is listed on there. You know, we use 4.33 weeks. There'll be a couple of weeks in the, or a couple of months in the year. You get an extra week of service on there. Uh, so that's how we formulated that bid and that price for you. Okay, so give us an example. 117 for the uh... for the eight yard container. Uh, right, that's for what you, uh, you would pay uh, per month for that container. Uh, the, mm. You guys have about eight uh, front load containers throughout the county, for example. And then they weigh it and it's three, three dollars No, and it's just, um, it's price per yard. Those are eight yard containers. Uh, that's the price whenever that truck comes, services that, picks it up, you know, lifts the container and tips it. Uh, that's the price for, for the month. For us to Whether it's half full or plum full, it's on its own eight dollar uh, what will the larger containers run? They don't change. That's going to stay, when the public gets it, they'll stay our same rate in 50 or the 40 yard. <coughs> okay. okay. So for, the, for this bid, uh, did it go up this year? Is that how you bid? Or? No, it's uh, expanded competition in the market. We reassess that. Um, it should be a cost savings to you. We appreciate the opportunity to partner with you. Uh, community partner we appreciate that opportunity to pass that discount on to you so i make a motion to accept republic service trash bid second motion by sam small second by barry cam to accept republic services bid uh, and that's all the bids we have is that is that uh, is there a, any discussion on that <coughs> being none on favor say aye aye opposed like sign motion carries uh, we did not have a roofing bid or okay. uh, concrete mix or diesel fuel. We didn't have concrete mix, diesel fuel, equipment vehicle. Or equipment rental. Right. Yeah. Or uh, uh, roofing. roofing. That was supposed to be no, for. No, 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 no. The roofing is for, was an ad. We ran for. That's good to say because I don't know if we have No, but we didn't get one. We don't have one in okay. hand. Okay, we missed a vote last time. Uh, Mr. Bratcher brought, brought it to your attention. Ran the first vote we had, but she went back and played the tape, and we had resolution 2022-32, referring to where we agreed uh, to uh, uh, exercise more of our authority on the uh, appointment of the library boards. And uh, we discussed it, but and talked about it, and everybody was nodding. But we didn't do a roll call vote on it. We need to because if it was a uh, 
because it was resolute, because of what it was. That gave us more power in appointing the appointment to the board. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna hold this up here. Miranda, do a roll call. All right, Johnson. Yes. Kemp. Yes. Morview. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Barnes is not here. So, okay. vote your carrots. Okay, the uh, project otter loan, which is, has a little more specific uh, language in it now, uh, just uh, Sam has that. I think is willing to make a motion so we get on on the floor where you can explain it to us. Yes, I'll make a motion for Project Kentucky Whiskey, uh, so we can uh, discuss it. I'll second. Second to Larry King. Okay. Uh, Justin. Uh, so what the, if you remember the court had, when discussions were with this company, uh, previously they thought they may need up to 800,000. Uh, they did not need that amount. Uh, the Kentucky Whiskey Company, LLC, uh, has asked uh, Ohio County if, uh, if uh, they could borrow a 3% interest for a period of four years, um, 515,000, uh, I mean 511,000, $500. That would be paid interest only for the first year and then it would be paid in full after four years. Uh, they would execute a promissory note, loan agreement and mortgage, which we've sent to them. Uh, and uh, it would also be subject to the approval of OCEDA who we're going to meet ahead of time, just couldn't get it get to get to it before. Uh, but it would be subject to the court willing to uh, loan up to that 511. As far as position, uh, security position, our security position would be second. Uh, Independent Bank would have the first loan on the real estate. We would be a second loan. Uh, certainly, we're going to be paid back a lot sooner than Independence Bank. Independence Bank, I think, was going to loan them, and and I may be wrong on this. Uh, the, you know. Uh, a number of million dollars. Several million. Uh, several million dollars. Uh, and uh, uh, from my understanding and speaking to uh, the individual that is uh, starting this uh, business, uh, Independence Bank is uh, requiring them to float almost the same amount of millions in the loan. So uh, they're, they're going to have to continue to keep uh, a certain amount of millions in there that would cover even the first mortgage. Uh, uh, OCEDA, uh, I think, has discussed this, but uh, they did not have yet approval because they were going to meet, but it didn't work out maybe yesterday or the other day. 225 of that's coming from the OCEDA revolving loan program, so that doesn't leave a lot. So two, two things have gotten much better for us, maybe three. Two things got much better. First of all, they're asking for much less money, and they're going to pay it off a year sooner than they said and maybe even a little extra interest from what we recently said. The bad part when you're the second in Brian to get your money. Well, it's such a big amount, there's just no way that we would ever lose it. Yeah, Independence Bank with them loaning as much as they wanted to loan, certainly they didn't want to sit behind us on anything. They, they've got far more risk. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's but if they want to bankrupt, well, they would get their money first, is that not no, right? Well, I know, but ours is being paid off in four years, so we get, we'll get have ours paid off way before they get theirs paid off. And it's going to be $31 an hour jobs, at least 35 and probably 50. They're guaranteed. See, the grant that they applied for, they guaranteed it they hired 35 people at $31 an hour. If they get your grant. No, they, it's, it's, it's kind of, if they got it. They got the grant? Yeah. That's, that what was, was it from? It was community development block grant to grad. CDBG. CDBG. grad. And it was in the name of this company. Uh, that's how it got out that for sure it's what we're going to do because when we did the public hearing here for them to get the grant, it's, uh, would make the news. Are we a second on some of the, 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 the equipment too? 
Uh, no, the only thing that the, our original, I don't remember if it was ordinance or resolution, I don't recall off the top of my head, we said that we would uh, take a loan on the real estate. And uh, what's the real estate price for? Uh, my understanding is they're buying from uh, the bluegrass uh, uh, crossings. crossings out there, 72 acres and then another nine acres. Uh, bluegrass crossings, uh, from my understanding, maybe the only thing they're holding is some timber rights with a portion of the nine acres. So I think they're getting around 81 acres, and we had indicated to him we wanted all of the entire amount of the acreage. And 35,000 acres, what they say it says were. So I'm, I'm sure for it won't get it when we do it. That's almost three million people in eight seven. But we have motion by Sam Small, second by Claire Cam. So I guess yeah, I, I, one thing that I would like to see done with this though is when they do pay us back, because they're taking another revolving loan fund. I'd like to see the money go back to the revolving loan fund, at least the 280, whatever that is. Yeah, that that would definitely be the plan that came from revolving loan and go back to revolving loan. And whatever percentage that they put in, the court put in, and be divided is uh, after the first year because they get uh, interest rate the first year. So we'll go back according to percentages. We'll no, actually, it's interest only. They're paying interest, interest only. Them. I'm sorry. Then principal and interest the next yeah. three years will get totally paid off in four years. Yeah. But we're that uh, use the percentages to uh, pay back or see them pay back. Mm -hmm. Occupational tax alone is going to be a huge thing for a county. For sure. Because thirty-one dollars an hour and thirty-five jobs. Well, and then you have uh, the uh, rick houses, which are what about fifteen? Yeah. Um, I believe that's correct, is what they say. 10 to 15, I don't 10, know. 10 to 15 rick houses to accommodate the manufacturing. So you're in for the schools, because they get the most, the majority of the most tax money. money. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Y'all ready? Miranda, roll call. Johnson? Yes. Camp? Yes. Morgan? Yes. 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 Okay. And Miranda, that needs to say subject to OCDA's approval. We still have to have OCDA's vote and approval. Did you hear okay. what he said? You hear it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Motion carries. Have some personnel ish uh, things here. Only, uh, I believe I only have two that the court need to vote on. I had uh, three more for the uh, for the wage committee to look at. So if uh, Sam can stay with me just a minute afterwards, we'll do it. And I know they're here because I saw her. Senior services, we want to hire uh, Maribeth Aquaviva as a substitute meal driver, uh, which is part time, 1094 hour, that's what they call her in as needed. Uh, so just a, just a roll call. Johnson? Yeah. Camp? Yes. Morgan? Yes. Morgan? Yes. Mom? Yes. Yes. Okay, that one's carried. Let me get to the other one. The next one, senior services again, but this is a meal driver. Uh, it's considered part time. Same thing, 10, 9, 4 an hour. Her name is Krista Schelling. Uh, 10, 9, 4 an hour, uh, starting 625.2. And this is the fulfill uh, position that someone quit. So roll call that one. Johnson? 
Yes. Yeah? Yes. More view? Yes. Small? Yes. Below? Yes. All right. That one passed. So, uh, let me get down to my agenda here. Uh, we're ready for committee reports. Uh, we did have a, uh, a, a jail committee meeting today. And uh, Larry, you want to bring us up to speed on that one? Uh, Justin had some uh, preliminary work he had to do uh, that, that we had to agree on and we, that was accomplished. Uh, we're going to have our next meeting within about a month, Justin, from now. And, uh, but there's some talk about land acquisition as far as the state's concerned and, and then we'll find out more about it after tomorrow's meeting. Uh, but other than that, uh, things are moving along. It's just uh, uh, at a snail's pace sometimes, but you got to cross all the T's and dot all the I's. So. That was the full board from the three counties. Yeah. Well, so one, one gentleman from Edmondson wasn't there, but the, uh, all counties were represented today here and I had that meeting. So we, uh, we think it's some positive forward steps. Yeah, and for those interested in uh, attending, uh, our next meeting will be in Butler County. Okay. Uh, any other committee? Has your uh, so that for We met today. Okay. We met we'll today, and we're just in the process of planning our next event, which will be in September. And uh, I can't remember. I think the 19th. I don't remember, but it's our suicide prevent prevention awareness walk that we've done the last two years. So we got together and met about getting everything in line for that. Okay. Sounds great. We're meeting next July. I just don't can't remember that. Yeah. Any uh, any other uh, committees uh, make the health department met last week and uh, they kept the uh, tax rate the same as it was last year. Yeah, and that is a uh, that leaves a declining balance for the county. I believe that's correct, isn't it? Where, in other words, we're paying the district more than the county gets. Right. I had it wrote down, but I forgot to praise. But it. It could like, it could keep the rate for a few years without going bankrupt in the uh, local board. Any the other the one that suffers? Yeah. Any other committees meet? Even now, let's go to magistrate's uh, comments and requests. How about Sam Smith? I have nothing to it. Jason, Larry, Larry, Jason, Justin. No, well, thank you, Judge. I, I do have one thing I want. Like to know. Of course, you told me that uh, being the next month or so when I start black topping. That's what we, I like. Right now, the state contract work is kind of all hands on deck, um, and then we'd like to get back in. Yeah, see, we haven't uh, got our thing back on the uh, flex yet. The state has to send that back to us. We're we'll running back through here. Just as quick as we get it, we can start, though, correct? As soon as you're okay. Possible, it yeah. comes back to us. When they get done with the rent, send it back to us. We approve the, the contract. Send it back to Frankfurt. They've got to sign it. Send it back to us, and then we can stop. Did last year we run it up first, just send it in the mail. We did. We might have to do it again this year. If we get it in here when we pass it to the court, they frown on it, but sometimes they'll sign it when you do that. I've got a question for Chris too. I've got a question. You just want me to talk? It's about Apple House Road. Just. The, you find any more about that as far as the I have contacted the people. Everybody seems to be understanding of it. But right yeah. now, what we're waiting on is we went in and dug down two foot deep where it was getting unstable. Yeah. Quite a bit. So we dug down two feet, filled it up with rock completely, and then we, I put a 12 inch lift of some of those millings in there right now. What I plan on doing is, is as soon as we bring the mill machine back into the county, to do some of the work in McHenry, I'm going to run over there and mill out five or six inches of those millings and haul them to up here for you all and give them to you all. But okay. then we're going to put a full lift of six inches of base on that roadway, which is probably right. double. And, and I understand it. I think the main thing is what they're, they, we're to the point now, they just like to know when the completions kind of have to be. The final completion on the surface of that is actually going to be a change order on that project to do a strip patch over that mm -hmm. from 
and, and I, I don't know without asking somebody from the state how far they're going to let us go. But so right now I'm going to do a full depth base repair on it. Yeah. Just to get the road finalized, and then they're going to look at doing a strip patch over all of it. Is what it is, and if they don't do a strip patch over all of it, then I'll probably do that myself. Okay. Just to smooth it out for you. I think people. I think they just get to the point. You know, like just when's the one will be completion. I'm. I'm. That's kind of up to the state on when they'll they'll finally yeah. finalize everything for that. I expect the for my part of the base to be put in within the next month. As long as you keep you know keeping it level to where there wouldn't be any accidents or or that's what the base should right. should fix all of that. Okay. When I mill it out with the base in, it's going to be a full depth base asphalt base. Yeah. Six inches. Then that's going to be okay. double. It's triple what keep we put the on softness the from yeah. yeah. That's and it may, there may be some finalized haul out of there over the winter even this coming yeah. winter so they you may not see the final surface strip patch okay that gets finalized until next spring but i'll i'll put a base asphalt lift in uh we do have want to have a road committee meeting at four o'clock before the next one uh things on the discussion is uh the finalized is still that we've talked about on uh, how we're uh straighten out between the coast severance and the flex to make it work down for pond run plus maybe look at something else for pond run rock because it may be our only chance to ever get it done so uh, we're going to uh, want that special call me for for that uh, I'm not special call road committee meeting four o'clock next week four o'clock next week Jason, if you don't care, like I said, if any, any of your residents or anybody, any of says anybody calls you with concerns or something. Seems like you know, they call us groups. So. Keep sending those numbers to me. Okay. I'll keep reaching out. That's, that's well, what no, I, I just thought them, I just kind of stay, and I said, we got to wait, you know, but I think the main thing their concern is, is you know, hey, just keep it level as much as you can, because you yeah, understand, and then I, yeah, with, I with, that, with the, put the base lift of asphalt in, it's going to eliminate the constant upkeep on the millings. So that's what I'm, I'm just I'm going to do that on our own yeah. board just so that it's it's smooth it's it's actually asphalt super thick so that if we do haul some more of those millings out through the winter it's going to be thick enough that we're not going to take a chance on okay. this. Anymore. I know there's some motorcycles built through there too they said yeah. so just yeah. uh, I'm glad appreciate it and they'll be glad when you're done. I'm just going to, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go fix it the, the way it needs to be fixed and not wait on anybody else. All right. Appreciate Thank you. It. I would like, can, can I request that the court actually read that stone bid that was submitted that wasn't wasn't accepted from from your stone? Go ahead, read. Do you care to publicly read those individual stone prices that were bid? I get back to Can we do that? I guess. Yeah. Oh sure. I didn't know. See no reason. It was a bid. I know we were going to rebid it, so we're not rebidding it. It was like two for one and two. Is what it's like. Okay, I appreciate this. It's it. Yeah. Yeah, Mark and Mary. Yeah. <laughs> this is okay, lately. Oh yeah. All right, make sure. Public bid. Chris, I figured you guys would get the quantity discount. Um, okay, our time number twos is 1440, number fours is 1520, number nines 1760, 57 is 1570, uh, six tens, this is all per ton, is 1290. Commercial 610 is $10.50. DGA is $12.55. How much is that again, Jason? Dense grade? Okay. Uh, dense grade is $12.55. Uh, oh, okay. And then the um, riprap is $16.10. There was none for mine run or waste, they call here. Shop rock is $12.30. And surge rock is thirteen ninety. It's going to sell a bit higher than it used to be, huh? Oh, no, yeah. Did you get all those, Chris? Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that.
Uh, I just want to recognize our coroner's office is here in its entirety today. Appreciate you guys. You stayed with it and heard the whole thing. Do you have anything to tell us? Well, we uh, uh, are thankful that they're moving out of the fire station and hopefully uh, we would like to maybe request a meeting with the court to discuss some renovations there to get it up so that we okay. can, you know, uh, utilize it. Okay. And uh, we did get our other new school so in and it's been delivered. It's there. And it's in that new park that we're cleaning it's, out, right? It's in the bay where they kept the bike. Well, we put it Hartford out. said they would have it out in a few days, have all their stuff out. They have got most of it out. They still quite a bit there, but it's, uh, it's coming together. Okay. And uh, it's quite dirty. It's going to have to be cleaned and painted. Yeah. So, well, uh, uh, we will do our best to take what? Most likely, to know what we can do there, it's probably going to be the end of July for that, because it's going to take us that long to let the dust settle on just how we finished up this fiscal year, and to know for, you know, yeah, we we typically do have a little bit of money there, but this time it looks like we might not. Yeah. So we'll we'll see it. We'll know by then. Okay. By the end of July. We, we appreciate what you've done there. And, uh, well, we'll way we can on. finally do get it together, we can all be in one one place. It would work a lot. Better. I'll meet with you go over the plans here in the next few days. It certainly made a difference already. Yeah. 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 We went from having no uh, uh, facilities for corners off that we come away in four years. Well, if there's nothing else we're good at this this meeting stands adjourned.